the moment an angry mob breaches the first defences of the US Capitol. Declaring it a riot. New footage providing graphic insight into the storming of the building, led by members of far right extremist groups. And the efforts of police officers who tried to hold them back. They were bleeding, they were throwing up, they were, you know, they had. I mean, I saw friends with blood all over their faces. I was slipping in people's blood. With the help of a former TV executive, nearly a year of work from the Congressional Committee was weaved into a made-for-TV moment, broadcast in prime time with a single storyline, that the attack was the result of a sophisticated conspiracy with Donald Trump at the centre. January 6th was the culmination of an attempted coup. And we fight. We fight like hell. And the former president was accused of coordinating a seven-part plan to prevent the peaceful transfer of power, even as members of his innermost circle rejected his claims of a stolen election. I did not agree with the idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was bullshit. It affected my perspective. Um, I respect Attorney General Barr. Um, so I accepted what he said, was saying. After inviting his supporters to march on the Capitol, investigators argue Donald Trump ignored the pleading of his staff and family members to call off the violence. President Trump summoned the mob, assembled the mob and lit the flame of this attack. I did believe, you know, that the election was being stolen. Um, and Trump asked us to come. This was the first in a series of public hearings aimed at building the committee's case against Donald Trump and trying to refocus the attention of the American people on what's become an increasingly partisan issue. Still banned from Twitter, Donald Trump took to his own social media platform to dismiss the committee's work and repeat his false claims, saying the presidential election was rigged and stolen, as his allies defended his legacy. This is the only hour on an American news channel that will not be carrying their propaganda live. They are lying and we are not going to help them do it. 18 months on from the attack, the committee warns the threat to US democracy hasn't eased. Jade McMillan, ABC News, Washington.